Today, we're delving into the realm of GTA 6 Online, the upcoming multiplayer aspect of Rockstar Games' Grand Theft Auto 6. We'll dissect all the insights gathered from leaks back in 2022, alongside an intriguing anti-cheat patent filed by Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive. This patent offers a glimpse into how the forthcoming online experience aims to ensure a safer environment compared to the current GTA Online. Furthermore, we'll explore a novel method Rockstar plans to implement in GTA 6 for managing online sessions. This innovation promises to infuse the expansive world of GTA 6 with a livelier atmosphere, enriching the player's immersion in its intricacies. Undoubtedly, GTA Online stands as a titan in the realm of multiplayer gaming. Its enduring popularity has significantly contributed to the ongoing success of GTA 5 over the past 11 years. This success owes much to Rockstar's astute strategy, crafting a robust core game with GTA 5 and then supplementing it with regular content updates for the online segment. By continually introducing new weapons, vehicles and attire, Rockstar keeps players engaged and motivated to accumulate in-game currency. As we eagerly anticipate the official unveiling of GTA 6, players are hopeful that it will address prevalent issues plaguing the current iteration. Chief among these concerns is the rampant presence of modders and cheaters, whose actions not only disrupt gameplay, but also pose security risks by unlawfully accessing personal data. To tackle this issue, Rockstar has devised a fresh approach set to debut in GTA 6. This method aims to bolster the game's security measures. The patent responsible for this enhancement is titled Method and Apparatus for Preventing Cheating in a Video Game Environment by Providing Obfuscated Game Variables. Filed by Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar's parent company, in 2019, this patent outlines a system and method aimed at curbing cheating within video game environments. By disguising game variables in memory, the patent seeks to thwart attempts by players to monitor and manipulate values such as health, ammunition, and in-game currency for unfair advantages. Traditionally, developers combat such exploits by encrypting, coding, or obfuscating the location of these values, alongside implementing integrity checks to detect unauthorized modifications. However, these methods have drawbacks, as they often impact game performance and inadvertently expose variable locations to savvy attackers. Rockstar's innovation lies in masking the whereabouts of these variables, offering a more robust defense against cheating in GTA 6's online. I won't delve into the technical intricacies, but essentially, Rockstar employs a clever and seemingly straightforward technique to conceal these values. This makes it considerably tougher for attackers to pinpoint their locations. While the concept of masking values may seem straightforward, its effectiveness in bolstering stability and enhancing security for the future online segment is paramount. Moving forward, let's turn our attention to the next patent, titled System and Method for Session Management in a Multiplayer Network Gaming Environment. Filed by T2 Interactive in 2021, this patent addresses Disclosed Our Systems and Methods for Session Management. The disclosed system allows for seamless merging and splitting of network sessions in a multiplayer network gaming environment. Seamless session management allows dynamic movement of players in a virtual world during gameplay without unnecessary loading and or stalling. As the players in the virtual world move around, the management of active game sessions can be improved to affect a more realistic perceived population. In this patent, Rockstar highlights the crucial role of online components in the success of many games, citing GTA Online as an example. They emphasize the challenges of managing network technology and resources to create a vibrant virtual world. Traditional MMO games often face limitations in session management, with some opting for single sessions that may restrict the depth of content due to increasing player counts. Others utilize multiple sessions, which can hinder feasibility, especially in peer-to-peer -peer exchanges like in GTA Online. To address these issues, Rockstar has developed a pioneering system for seamless session management. This innovative approach enables fluid splitting and merging of network sessions, allowing for a more immersive virtual world free from hardware and software constraints. Allowing players from different sessions, but in the same virtual area of the map, for example, to be merged into a single session. This allows players from previously different sessions to come across one another, thereby making the virtual world seem more populated. As an additional advantage, seamless session merging handles many network failures silently. In prior art systems, a player who loses network connectivity 
can be kicked out of a session and may not be able to rejoin because they are in a session by themselves. However, the Session Management System 100 allows for a disconnected player to exist in a session by themselves for a predetermined period before they are reconnected to the remaining players in the session or can be joined with another session. The method begins with monitoring a triggering event. In some embodiments, the triggering event defines when to merge two sessions or split a single session. For example, when the object, virtual players, are in the same session, move physically apart from another. The object by a predetermined virtual distance, this triggers the session management system to split the session into two different sessions. Likewise, if objects from two different sessions are within a predetermined virtual distance from one another, the session management system and merge the sessions to allow interaction between objects of the respective sessions. Other instances of monitored triggering events encompass various player and object actions, including changes in position or visibility, player entries and exits from the virtual world, and game-related activities like mission completions or tutorial beginnings. Rockstar's solution ensures seamless management of these events, preventing inconsistencies such as duplicated objects during session transitions. This approach accounts for factors like virtual geography, team management, networking resources, and social relationships to maintain continuity across sessions. For example, once a session is split, there can be two sessions, each with their own distinct copy of an object. Avoiding this split can avoid players that intentionally duplicate valuable objects to exploit virtual game economics. If these two sessions were to later merge, there can then be two identical objects in the same session. In this manner, the session management system advantageously avoids object duplication when two players are merged following a split. Moving on to tools and items, the list is quite extensive. You can expect to find an autodialer, binoculars, immobilizer bypass, a color tool, painkillers, a pool cue, trauma kits, a golf driver, various food and drink items, a golf putter, a USB drive, a golf iron, a crowbar, a golf wedge, a torch, a slim gym, a tracker jammer, a duffel bag for stashing your loot, cigarettes, and a backpack, again for storing your loot. When it comes to weaponry, the leaks confirm several options, a rocket launcher, an assault rifle, a baseball bat, a polymer pistol, a knife, a bolt-action sniper rifle, a Molotov cocktail, a spear gun, which is intriguing, a smoke grenade, a compact SMG, a flashbang, a micro SMG, a hunter sniper rifle, a heavy machine gun, an auto rifle, and a pump action shotgun. The weapon wheel system will be divided into three sections, weapons, equipment, and gear. This setup is reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption 2, where you had access to your weapons, items, and horse all in one interface. Notably, we've seen glimpses of the ability to hold different weapons in each hand, and there's an additional quick item inventory in the bottom left corner of your screen. In a video clip, we observed an NPC firing at Jason, and shortly after, we noticed that Jason's health was low. A tip appeared on the left side of the screen, indicating, you were injured, your health will regenerate slowly. Open your weapon wheel and use a recovery item to replenish your health faster. Unlike GTA 5, where your health regenerated only up to 50%, in GTA 6, it seems that you may regenerate to full health naturally, albeit at a sluggish pace. However, if you want to expedite your healing process, you can employ a medical item. We've got confirmation on seven open world activities that will be available in the game. Currently, these activities include dice, golf, fishing, and races. Additionally, there's a van shipment activity, and in one of the videos, you can spot the spawning location for a delivery van event. This location is near the industrial area of Port Gelhorn, and it's noteworthy that there's a warning poster about security cameras in this area, suggesting the need for caution while attempting to rob the van. Now, regarding robberies, if you've seen the leaks, you might remember the Hank's Waffles robbery, which was quite impressive. Jason and Lucia took on the challenge of robbing this massive diner. In another clip, when Jason was entering a store for a robbery, it became apparent that he possessed an ability allowing him to see through walls. The leaks also mention events related to searching vehicle trunks for something valuable, or perhaps finding nothing at all. Moving on, there's another event type called Deliveries mentioned, specific to Port Gelhorn. It's somewhat challenging to predict the exact nature of these events, but that's all the information we have for now. As for enterable buildings, Grand Theft Auto 6 is set to offer more opportunities for exploration. Confirmed locations you can enter include the Malibu Club, a pawn shop, the Jack of Hearts, supermarkets, bars, restaurants, apartments, and laundries. Now, let's discuss multiplayer. 
In the leaked files, we did come across one multiplayer clip, and in the bottom left corner of the screen, it displayed PL2 of 32, indicating that there were two players in the lobby out of a possible 32 slots. This mirrors the setup seen in Red Dead Online and GTA Online. While it's mentioned as 32 slots, it's worth noting that the player count is actually capped at 30, with two additional spots reserved for spectators. While hopes may be for larger lobbies in GTA 6, at least during this testing phase, they were exploring the feasibility of 30 player lobbies. Let's delve into collectibles in the game. During a scene in one of the clubs with Lucia, we can observe a developer placing a cardboard box on the ground. Notably, these boxes appear to be lootable, with a circle icon indicating their interactability. The debug text on this box reads, collectibles underscore car underscore pass, suggesting that these boxes will contain car part collectibles. Furthermore, there's mention of Wyman car parts boxed generic used, which has sparked speculation that players may collect car parts specifically for a character named Wyman. It's inferred that both Jason and Wyman share an interest in classic cars. Moving on, we've got collectible hats. In a video featuring Jason in an apartment, a developer is seen interacting with a hat labeled as an ambient collectible hat in the debug text. This implies that one of the ambient activities in the game will involve gathering various articles of clothing, which adds an intriguing layer to gameplay. Now there's a comprehensive list of brands featured in the game, which I won't read out individually, as many may not be of significant importance to the storyline. Instead, I'll display them on your screen for your reference. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to take a closer look. Moreover, we have a list of confirmed animals in the game. As of now, the roster includes snakes, seagulls, skunks, raccoons, alligators, boars, wading birds, squirrels, southern leopard frogs, crayfish, lizards, skunk apes, pigeons, opossums, and whales. Keep in mind that this is not an exhaustive list, and there's a good chance we'll encounter even more wildlife when the game officially launches. These are simply the animals we have information on at this point in time. In the ongoing exploration of the forthcoming Grand Theft Auto installment, a plethora of new gameplay mechanics has come to light. These enhancements promise to augment the player experience in a variety of ways, ushering in a fresh layer of dynamism and immersion within the game world. First and foremost, players can now maneuver while ensconced in cover. This feature introduces a newfound level of flexibility during engagements, allowing for more strategic positioning in combat scenarios. Additionally, the ability to assume a prone position, a feature conspicuously absent in previous iterations of the game, adds an exciting dimension to gameplay, affording players the capacity to lie flat on the ground, potentially enhancing stealth and tactical maneuvers. Furthermore, the inclusion of loot bags offers a means to store surplus items, expanding inventory management options. An interesting addition is the capability to both drop and retrieve weapons, affording players greater adaptability in response to evolving circumstances. During intense firefights, a novel underfire animation engages, wherein the player character instinctively shields their face from incoming projectiles, providing a more immersive combat experience. In the aftermath of enduring a severe blow, players are granted the opportunity to enact self-revival, potentially turning the tide of adversity. In aiming down sights, the option to seamlessly switch shoulders grants players a tactical advantage, facilitating improved positioning and target acquisition. Moreover, hand-to-hand -hand combat now includes the ability to execute grabs, diversifying the melee combat mechanics. A noteworthy addition to the game is the implementation of buddy communication, embodied in the buddy comms and buddy ping system. Although specific details remain undisclosed, it is plausible that these features will facilitate coordinated actions between the two main characters, Jason and Lucia. Vehicle combat has witnessed a transformation, as shooting from car windows now entails the complete egress of the player character from the window, enabling full 360-degree firing capabilities, thereby revolutionizing vehicular combat dynamics. The intriguing Eagle Eye system, seemingly exclusive to Jason, allows for a form of wall-penetrating vision, although its applicability to Lucia remains uncertain. Enhancements also extend to interactions with in-game elements. Players will find themselves endowed with a broader range of interactions, such as the capacity to carry bodies, engage in robberies, issue threats, and converse with non-playable characters NPCs, during heists. Moreover, the ability to collect additional items, including beer bottles and cans, enriches the gameplay experience. Shifting the focus to new gameplay systems, one particularly exciting addition is the concept of money laundering. During the Hank's Waffles robbery, an icon associated with the car wash property, a washing machine adorned with a dollar sign, 
has been identified as indicative of money laundering. This suggests that players may have the opportunity to purchase specific types of businesses with the intent of laundering illicit funds in the single-player mode. Moreover, the inclusion of fences introduces a layer of illegal commerce within the game. These fences serve as intermediaries for players to sell illegal items, providing a means to offload contraband and potentially profit from illicit endeavors. The inclusion of hacking mechanics is confirmed to some extent in the game. Lucia is equipped with a set of intriguing tools, including a tracker jammer, immobilizer bypass, USB drive, and an auto dialer. As of now, it remains unconfirmed whether Jason will also have access to these items. Historical leaks from a few years ago hinted that Lucia would be the designated hacker, so the extent of hacking abilities for each character awaits further clarification. Among the event types within the game, two distinct categories emerge, pragmatic cool and chaotic and romantic cool. While specific details surrounding these events are not fully disclosed, they introduce intriguing possibilities for players to navigate. Furthermore, during robberies, players will have the capacity to issue commands to the other character involved. In a video clip from the leaks depicting a robbery, a tip notification suggests checking in with Jason or holding for more options. This implies that players can give their partner commands during a heist. Notably, prompts to instruct Jason to either surrender or follow indicate a degree of control over both characters simultaneously, simplifying coordination compared to relying solely on AI behavior. The witness system and police recognition within the game hold significant implications. During the Hank's Waffle robbery video, an interesting detail surfaces regarding the Wanted Level Stars interface which includes the term full description. This strongly suggests that witnesses within the game possess comprehensive knowledge about the player character. Consequently, law enforcement is expected to recognize the player once Lucia enters a police vehicle. Additionally, a transition is observed from no vehicle description to full vehicle description in response to Lucia's actions. This implies that even after losing a wanted level, if the police spot the player in the same vehicle, they will react accordingly, potentially leading to an arrest or hostile encounter. During the robbery sequence, Jason can be seen actively preventing customers marked with yellow icons above their heads from calling the authorities or fleeing the scene. Notably, an NPC within the diner exhibits a yellow icon above her head. Following Lucia's exit from the diner, the icon begins to flicker. Subsequently, as Lucia approaches a police car surrounded by law enforcement, the icon shifts to red. The female NPC then departs from the diner, making eye contact with Lucia before hastening away. These developments underscore the sophistication of NPC interactions, presenting a notable advancement in the game's artificial intelligence systems. The prospect of item sharing between the characters Jason and Lucia is on the horizon. A notable example emerges from a video clip where Jason pilfers items from containers, opting to retain some while distributing others. This cooperative element extends to the unlocking of doors and gates, exemplified in a video featuring Jason within the Sand for Sand area, which, if you recall, is the moniker of a gang in GTA 6. In this particular clip, Jason stealthily maneuvers past a red truck, revealing a door from an import garage building bearing the descriptor door panel locked in its debug text. In juxtaposition, a gate within the same clip indicates door unlocked, signifying the necessity of unlocking specific access points. Subsequently, we delve into an extensive catalog of new features, commencing with an upgraded AI system. In a visual excerpt, the enemy AI exhibits an inclination to open fire upon Lucia when she pivots to face them. This hints at AI entities possessing a heightened acumen for discerning opportune moments to engage in combat. Impressively, AI units adapt their elevation relative to surrounding obstacles, steering clear of potentially disadvantageous head-glitching tactics. Furthermore, a prudent alteration manifests as AI adversaries opting to lower their stance during weapon reloads, a judicious move compared to reloading while exposed in the open. Enhanced AI combat tactics are evident in their lateral strafing maneuvers during shootouts. Notably, NPC behavior has undergone substantial refinement. As discernible in the leaked materials, AI characters no longer traverse the game world in solitary isolation, but now frequently assemble into groups. This intriguing development is reminiscent of a feature previously observed in Red Dead Redemption 2, where NPCs often moved in cohesive units. An illustrative instance materializes in a video where Lucia, carrying a duffel bag, shares the sidewalk with three individuals attired as tourists, who engage in animated conversation while strolling past her. This signifies a notable departure from GTA V, where pedestrians predominantly ambulated in solitary fashion, contrasting with the forthcoming inclusion of group dynamics, perhaps even encompassing couples or social cliques, enhancing the very similitude of the game world. A notable addition to the gameplay dynamics is the option to voluntarily surrender to law enforcement during a robbery. The consequences of such an action remain shrouded in uncertainty, warranting further exploration upon the game's release. 
Furthermore, the mundane act of purchasing gumballs from vending machines emerges as a potentially restorative action. While it can be surmised that gumballs may offer a healing effect, concrete details regarding their function remain pending confirmation. In a nod to realism, akin to GTA 5, the forthcoming installment acknowledges the accumulation of dirt on your character's clothing, reflecting the wear and tear endured during your escapades. The hair and facial hair systems exhibit intriguing variability, with different versions of Jason observable in the leaks, sporting varying hairstyles, including long hair, short hair, stubble, and clean-shaven looks. While not definitively confirmed, this strongly alludes to the introduction of a hair growth system, akin to the one featured in Red Dead Redemption 2. Given the precedence established in the latter game, the likelihood of such a system in GTA 6 appears high. Expanding the repertoire of actions available to players, the ability to consume items directly from your inventory is showcased. When Jason visits a gas station, the inventory reveals options for wine, soda, and fruit consumption, implying that you can partake in these items at your convenience, akin to the mechanics present in Red Dead and GTA Online. Introducing a novel event type named Cop Trap, the game incorporates scenarios where law enforcement sets up traps at multiple locations. While the precise details of these traps remain undisclosed, it is apparent that police will employ diverse tactics to ensnare players. An overhaul in the police system introduces the concept of time until cops dispatch. In this iteration, criminal activities do not instantly summon law enforcement. Instead, players are afforded a brief window to execute an escape before the police response commences. The inclusion of security cameras as a surveillance mechanism adds complexity to evading detection. Unlike the conventional implementation in GTA Online, these cameras employ a detection meter, reminiscent of mechanics seen in games like Payday 2 or Payday 3. Players must act swiftly to evade the camera's line of sight within a specified time frame, akin to a filling bar to avoid detection. This novel approach to security cameras introduces a fresh layer of challenge and strategy to evading law enforcement. Players will have the newfound ability to restrain non-player characters, NPCs. The primary method, as gleaned from the leaks, involves the use of zip ties. This restraint option becomes particularly pertinent during robbery scenarios, where players can employ zip ties to immobilize NPCs. A novel feature that comes to light is the capacity to loot vehicles. A fleeting glimpse in the Hank's Waffles video reveals a button prompt in the bottom right corner of the screen, labeled Examine SUV. This hints at the prospect of inspecting random cars and potentially engaging in vehicular theft. To make car theft more engaging, an advanced hijacking system is on the horizon. The existence of the immobilizer bypass device previously discussed suggests that pilfering high-end vehicles will pose a greater challenge. Additionally, an item known as the Slim Jim will facilitate unlocking older model cars. These mechanics collectively point to the notion that hijacking automobiles will become a more intricate endeavor, with the potential for car theft endeavors to end in failure. Furthermore, two intriguing event types emerge, namely carjacking, cat, and carjacking, advanced AI. These events suggest that the vehicular hijacking process will incorporate nuanced elements, potentially involving the interference of an AI-controlled entity. GTA 6 promises to deliver an augmented vehicular experience through improved vehicle damage and handling. In a displayed video clip, as Lucia attempts to evade pursuing law enforcement, cars suffer more impactful damage. Notably, various parts of the vehicles, such as the front fender and hood, demonstrate more realistic deformation and fragmentation. The in-game interiors now feature functional GPS and waypoint systems on the dashboard, enhancing navigational convenience for players driving in the first-person perspective. Additionally, players have the option to enter a car via the passenger seat, offering flexibility in vehicle interaction. A hallmark of GTA 6 is its meticulous attention to detail. Players can encounter raccoons engaging in behavior, such as rummaging through trash cans and pilfering food bags. These instances are categorized as world events, denoted as raccoon climb out of garbage, raccoon rummage trash, and raccoon steal food bag. While numerous other subtle details enrich the game world, they are too numerous to enumerate here. Interested individuals can explore these intricacies further through the provided link. Expect a heightened level of auditory realism in GTA 6. Weapon sounds exhibit enhanced clarity and realism with greater volume. The sounds of bodies impacting the ground will resonate with a more substantial thud, evoking a heightened sense of impact. Police sirens will reverberate off buildings and environmental elements with heightened realism, while items will produce varying auditory responses contingent on the surrounding context. In essence, sound design in GTA 6 aims to authentically replicate real-life auditory experiences. Fascinating developments. Several months ago, a colossal trove of leaked data unveiled a wealth of intriguing random events, world encounters, that promised to enrich the GTA 6 experience. Is there a chance we'll see a remaster, or even just a port of GTA 4 hit the shelves this year? 
It's quite likely, though I'm leaning towards it being more of a port, but let's dive into the details. Back in July 2022, Tez Funz2 made it known on Twitter that as per a reliable source with clear accuracy on Rockstar plans, remasters of GTA 4 and RDR1 were on the table a few years ago, but Rockstar chose not to proceed with the project in mind. The poor reception of the Trilogy Definitive Edition might be a reason behind that decision. After that post surfaced, the topic went quiet for quite a few months. Over a year, in fact. Then, out of the blue last year, Rockstar Games dropped the bombshell and revealed a fresh project in the Red Dead Redemption universe. Although there hasn't been an official announcement regarding the GTA 4 remaster, there are indications pointing towards the existence of such a project, with a potential release date as early as March 2024. Take 2. The parent company of Rockstar Games had previously hinted at having two re-releases in the pipeline set to launch by that specific month. The original Red Dead Redemption was among the two games mentioned, leaving room for speculation that the other could potentially be GTA 4. While it's also plausible that this could be an entirely different project unrelated to the Grand Theft Auto franchise, it's worth considering. This isn't the first time there have been murmurs about a GTA 4 re-release or remaster. Returning to the Red Dead Redemption 1 port, unfortunately, it wasn't the news fans were hoping for. Instead of a full remake or remaster, the developer revealed a port with no new content. Typically, when people hear about a remaster or remake, they expect incredible graphic improvements, higher resolution, better quality textures, and advanced graphical effects like ray tracing. Contrary to these expectations, many argue that this game needs significant improvements, particularly concerning inconsistencies in the story. In 2018, Red Dead Redemption 2 was released as a prequel, introducing story elements that created inconsistencies with the first Red Dead Redemption where major characters like Arthur Morgan were never mentioned. When Rockstar opted for a port instead of improving the game, which was already 13 years old, disappointment arose. The desire for a remaster or remake persisted, fueled by rumors since 2021. These speculations continued until the summer of 2023. The uncertainty around whether a remake was genuinely being considered remains, with some recent rumors possibly being misunderstandings about the port project. It's been speculated that the cancellation of a Red Dead Redemption remake or remaster might be attributed to the poor reception of GTA, the trilogy, the definitive edition. Alternatively, the developer could have redirected resources towards the development of GTA 6. Regarding GTA 6, in December, we were finally treated to the much-anticipated trailer for the upcoming installment. However, it came with a significant letdown the announcement of a 2025 release date. As we approach the end of 2024, this seems like the ideal time to introduce a new game under the GTA banner to keep the franchise vibrant. Hence, a port of GTA 4 appears fitting for this year. Most players familiar with GTA 4 acknowledge the aging of the game. Despite being ahead of its time upon its 2008 release, over 15 years ago, it's showing signs of wear. Notably, the PC version faced persistent performance issues, maintaining its reputation as one of Rockstar Games' worst optimized titles. The irony lies in the fact that, despite these problems, GTA 4 is widely regarded as one of the best entries in the Grand Theft Auto series. Understanding the poor optimization of the PC version remains a mystery. Even with a series of patches, the issues persisted, suggesting a more profound problem. Originally designed for Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 consoles with different hardware architectures. Porting GTA 4 to PC necessitated significant modifications. Unfortunately, not all of these changes were executed appropriately. Compounding the matter, the game was built on the advanced and intricate Rage Engine, adding complexity to its optimization. Unlike consoles with standardized hardware, the diverse range of PC hardware available at the time of GTA 4's release posed a challenge. The game's initial high hardware requirements excluded many players with less powerful computers from enjoying a smooth gaming experience. Unoptimized code contributed to performance issues, even on high-end PCs, with notable problems in managing CPU and GPU resources, leading to performance bottlenecks. How else can we gather indications that a GTA 4 remaster or port is possibly in development? Well, in September 2022, Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, made a notable move. They took down a fan-made mod for GTA 4, known as the Definitive Edition. This mod compilation, comprised of various mods and fan-made patches, aimed to significantly enhance the visual and experiential aspects of the 15-year-old game on PC. The roots of this remastering endeavor with mods trace back to 2016, when the mod pack for GTA Vice City, 
named Reborn, initiated the project. Over time, it expanded to encompass mods for GTA 3, San Andreas, Chinatown Wars, and other Rockstar games like Bully and the Warriors. According to information from the author's website, the group behind this project confirmed that their files, hosted on Mediafire, received a DMCA takedown notice. Presumably issued by Rockstar or its parent company Take-Two Interactive, this notice mandated the removal of the Definitive Edition project from their website. This development was communicated through a tweet from the Definitive Edition project. Bad news guys, appreciate it if you got PPL to raise awareness. Spread the word as much as possible. I knew this day was coming. Here we are with a DMCA by Rockstar, I assume, on our GTA 4 Definitive Edition patch. Well, I suppose we need to remove all GTA 4 related stuff from the website. Curiously, from what I understand, the takedown specifically focused on the GTA 4 mod. As of now, the original trilogy mods on the site remain untouched, but the project doesn't express a high level of confidence in the longevity of these mods being available. No DMCA for the original trilogy, yet. Just GTA 4. So for now I think the trilogy is safe. Just enjoy it when you still can, they wrote. This isn't the initial instance of Take-Two Interactive taking action against mods. Their track record indicates a protective stance towards their intellectual properties. They've previously taken down mods before, a practice observed prior to the unveiling of their own definitive edition for the original GTA trilogy. Despite its problematic release, that project proved to be financially successful. Many in the gaming community express a desire for Rockstar Games to follow suit and release a remastered version of GTA 4 similar to what the studio accomplished with the trilogy. Xbox One, Series X and S users currently enjoy the luxury of playing GTA 4 through backward compatibility. However, this isn't the case for PS4 and PS5 users. Should Rockstar opt not only for re-release support, but also for substantial changes to the game, there are certain aspects of GTA 4 that could benefit from improvement. First and foremost, graphics are an apparent focal point, a common aspect of remasters to enhance the visual experience. It's worth noting that beyond the expected graphical upgrades, GTA 4 might require more nuanced improvements. One aspect that garnered criticism was the peculiar yellow filter present in the original game, making everything appear dull. This yellow tint, a characteristic of the late 2000s and 2010s, was often disparaged when employed in video games. For an open-world game like GTA 4, many argue that this filter made little sense. Various graphics mods for the PC version, such as the Ice Enhancer 4, have demonstrated that Liberty City can maintain its gritty atmosphere without this filter. For a glimpse of what a GTA 4 remaster could potentially achieve, the Ice Enhancer 4 graphics mod offers an illustrative example. Developed over several years by the skilled modder Heisam Kilani, this fan-made graphics overhaul aimed to elevate the game's visual experience well beyond its original state. On the flip side, individuals who have a fondness for the original yellow filter in the game may not find favor with this mod. If Rockstar opts to stay faithful to the original and preserve the color scheme, it would still be beneficial to update the environmental textures. Over time, these textures have aged considerably featuring a noticeably low resolution that now appears outdated. Moving on, one of the most memorable aspects of GTA 4 is the recurring scenario where Roman calls Nico to go bowling. Nico, it's your cousin. You want to shoot some pool? Roman, I can't talk now. Damn! This feature, while often considered a source of humor, can be somewhat bothersome. Nico's friends frequently reaching out for social activities can prove distracting especially during critical missions or while immersed in the exploration of the open world. Rejecting these calls actually decreases your relationship with that friend, impacting specific benefits they offer. GTA 5 addressed this issue by making interactions with friends more user-friendly, introducing new activities to engage in. Incorporating similar friend activities in a remastered version of GTA 4 would be a positive and welcome addition. Another area of improvement is clothing and customization. The clothing options for Nico in GTA 4 are quite limited. Notably, the game lacks the iconic fingerless gloves seen in promotional art and trailers. A remaster could rectify this, especially considering the community's disappointment over their absence. Additionally, though hairstyles were planned, they were not included in the final game, as evidenced by the presence of barbershops in the game files. A remaster could enhance clothing options and introduce hairstyle changes, mirroring the customization available in GTA Online. Unlike GTA San Andreas or GTA 5, GTA 4 lacks car customization features. Players can only randomly change their vehicle's primary color at a pay and spray, 
While this might not have been a significant issue in earlier titles like GTA 3 or Vice City, it does feel like an oversight in a more modern title like GTA 4. A remaster could bring in more extensive vehicle customization options. Given the central role of vehicles in the Grand Theft Auto games, enhancing customization not only adds depth but also makes the gaming experience more immersive. In fact, acquiring new and rare cars is often considered the most appealing aspect of GTA Online, and a remaster could significantly enhance the appeal of GTA 4 through this single feature alone. While Rockstar Games has been dedicating their efforts to newer projects, it's intriguing to observe that GTA 4 hasn't been entirely neglected by them. Surprisingly, the game has received updates, albeit sporadically, even years after its initial release in 2008. A notable recent update, released in 2023, caught many fans off guard. This update primarily focused on security, aiming to safeguard the game's source code from potential leaks. It's interesting to reflect on the context surrounding this security update. Since Rockstar Games removed the multiplayer aspects of the GTA 4 Complete Edition on Steam and their launcher in March 2020, the need for such security measures raises questions. Without active official multiplayer components, this move appears to be a proactive response to a prior security breach. In that incident, a hacker infiltrated Rockstar's security system, leaking pre-alpha version footage of the highly anticipated GTA 6. While Rockstar's immediate focus is on bringing GTA 6 to fruition, the possibility of a GTA 4 remaster isn't entirely dismissed. There's a genuine belief that something related to GTA 4 is in the works this year. If not, the prospect remains open for the future, potentially after the release of GTA 6. The year 2028 marks the 20th anniversary of GTA 4, presenting a considerable time frame. Although it involves patience, the wait could be worthwhile if Rockstar decides to give GTA 4 the remaster treatment it deserves. It's crucial to acknowledge the dynamic nature of the gaming industry, with Rockstar consistently pushing boundaries with each release. By the time a potential GTA 4 remaster materializes, we might witness a game that not only enhances the original, but also leverages the latest advancements in gaming technology.